Yo, what's up, my uncle? See you here with another ADV narration, and today we got SPL finals. Today we got the main event, and we have uh, Asta on the Wolfpack, and we have Arashi on the Raiders. So this is the main event, uh, and Doc hasn't been able to record because he has some personal issues at the moment, so that's kind of a sad one for the boys, but uh, yeah, this is going to be the Seal channel. I'll just be uploading these ADV games, and um, yeah, it's going to be nice. So we see Blissey on Blissey action, so <laughs> that's nice. Um, they probably both have a Steel type as well. I mean, they oh, obviously they do, but... Yeah, we see Jirachi as a steel type for Asta, and we see Skarm as a steel type for Rachi. Okay, so we already have Blissey, Skarm, plus another Mon revealed. So Thunder Miss, which definitely sucks. That Thunder would have done some big damage, because it is obviously super effective. So you see M's up on the Blissey switch. Depending on the set, this can actually hit 1v1 Blissey. Yeah, s is the best move Blissey has to hit it. So if they yeah, have to just wish CM like all CM sets are, basically. So yeah, this is going to be able to 1v1 the Blissey. So the Blissey needs to get the fuck out of there. Switches out for Titar D's twice. So wait, Ice Punch on the Switch does a fair chunk. I mean, this is that. I mean, it does a fair chunk. I mean, that's still plus two, but yeah. I don't know. Teeter kind of fat in sand. So Kaleido gets revealed here. Kaleido, nice switch into that. So we see both uh, on both sides. We see some defensive build. Which, I mean, Fat Boys on Fat Boys action. You know me. I don't like it, but it, it's like. it like, I mean, it's ADV, right? <laughs> like, there's nothing I can really do about this. So he rapid spins on the spikes, which is a cool, cool prediction, I guess. But yeah. I guess it goes Rachi predicting the toxic, but. Um, Jirachi. This is kind of annoying because, uh, Jirachi- There's a player named Jirachi and a Jirachi on the screen at the same time. But yeah, the player goes for spikes, which is the best play. So it goes for thunder, wouldn't have done much anyway. If it got, if it got the pair, that might have mattered a bit, but... Yeah, this Jirachi can 1v1, so they both throw up a wish. So, you know this is gonna be a long game. I see two Pokemon with wish, I see a bulky team on both sides. I don't really see a Pokemon that breaks on either side. So, I mean, depending on the Salamence set, Salamence could do some work, but... Apart from that, I don't really see Monza break. So it looks like the bad joke is going to have to get pulled out once again. <laughs> Not JK, but uh, I might resort to that. But yeah, we just see, like, I mean, this these wishes on Rachi are getting wasted, which does suck. I mean, okay, so for, for simplicity, I'll just call I'll just call the Pokemon, I'll just call it Rachi, and I'll call the player Jirachi. So, like, I don't get confused, because it's kind of messing me up. Like, don't name yourself after a Pokemon, kids, unless the Pokemon is like some Unmon. Like, if you name yourself after Floatzel, that's fine. But, yeah, we see an EQ that does a shitload, so Kaleido is the safest play here. So Kaleido can spin the shit right away, so yeah. There's, yeah, there's not really pressure. Since he just goes back to Skarmory, we just see some, ooh, we see an EQ, which is, I guess, a cool play. I'm trying to catch the staying in. But yeah, I don't yeah, I don't like that play. I think Rabbit Spin was still the better play. So Jirachi should go for either Toxic or Spike. But the Claydol could have refresh. Because that is like that that's the that's the Claydol set I see used the most. Because it just keeps up some longevity. And that boy is nice and juicy. So yeah, the refresh does come out. Because like all these kids are using Fat Boys on Fat Boys action right now. So then you need to keep refresh to keep yourself healthy. So I don't know how many I don't know how much PP has. Yeah, okay. I cannot talk. I don't know how much PP um, Refresh has in ADV, but it should be 16, and Toxic should have 16 as well. So at some at one point, Skarmage is gonna run out of Toxics completely. So Rabbit Spin comes out, so there's no hazards on either side, which is nice. So he can just go into Jirachi to get it healthy. But if he lacks Protect, which I think he does, because you don't run only Thunder, so he I think he lacks Protect for sure. So then he doesn't get a healthy 100% because he can switch into something that threatens Raji. But we do see some Blissey on Blissey action just trying to waste some PP. Because Blissey is nice and juicy and fat. And yeah, these mons can't really do much to each other. Jiraji can throw off a wish, but I don't think there's something he wants healed. I think all of his mons are in decent health at the moment. I don't know how how, um, how much HP Titar has left. So you can, I guess, wish up Titar if he wants to. But yeah, this is just the Blissey's attacking each other. Wish gets thrown off from Jirachi. So, yeah, if he, he could wish up his T-Tar if T-Tar is low. And Asta, yeah, okay, he just goes into Skarmory, which is nice. Yeah, because Toxic was pretty obvious there from Asta, because, like, he couldn't really heal up his T-Tar there, because if the Blissey did have Toxic, which it does, then you just see a Toxic on the T-Tar, and then T-Tar is crippled. And that's not nice in a fat versus fat matchup like this, where nothing really happens. So, PP are getting stalled. So we see that uh, in the chat. Okay, that's just uh, that's just S tours that's going on at the same time. So yeah, fuck S tours as an untour right there. <laughs> I mean, S tours playoffs are pretty fun, but I don't play BW. And yeah, Ultra Sun Moon OU is also a shit tier. So I mean, fuck S tours. Only real tier in there is Oraz, aka Drachi plus Pursuit. I mean, not Drachi, Keldeo plus Pursuit metagame confirmed OP. So we see a T tar finally hitting the field, but 
double drag back out. So we do see another Pokemon. Oh, two new Pokemon. Oh, we got some new content. So we see a Pert, which, yeah, was pretty obvious on Jirachi's end. Because he didn't have a ground type or bulky water yet. And he can keep Pert healthy with a Wish, which is super cool. And a Titar is also, yeah, it's pretty good on Asta's side as well. So, for the last Pokemon, Asta definitely needs a bulky water, unless he's going bulky waterless, which those teams exist if you have a Blissey, but I don't like them. So, yeah, I, yeah. So I think he would have a bulky water in the back. He already has a ground, so I don't know, maybe some some extra bulky water. But we do see the Salamence come back in, so depending on this set, the Salamence could actually put in some work, but it's in versus Zapdos, so it can't really right now. So he's basically forced out by the threat of a potential HBI Zapdos. But he can just go into Blissey as it's tech Zapdos, okay, so it's like toxic tech Zapdos. Which is a, that's a cool set, I guess, on a defensive team like that. Okay, as so another text comes out, so Zapdos' texts are getting wasted for no reason here, actually. So he just goes into TTRM. Claydol is pretty obvious and, like, reliable. Um, yeah, there's nothing much to talk about, though. Like, I'm, I'm kind of becoming silent because they're, like, thinking about their turn, which is what I get, but... Um, still... Like, there's, there's nothing much happening, because it's basically, they, these mods are just switching around and switching back and forth, and there's already almost 40 turns gone in 6 minutes, which is kind of remarkable. They're playing really fast, but when there's like a cookie cutter play every single turn, that's not that hard. So, uh, Esther's chat also pretty dead, talking about my boy Greninja Warrior, and yeah, apart from that, it's just Esther's going on at the moment. So, not even hype in the chat for a for an SPL Finals ADV game. Damn, dead metagame. <laughs> yeah, I would have I would have liked to see some hype in the chat. We finally see switch into the last, which is Dugtrio. Ooh, where he catches him on the DD. Easy maneuvers by Asta. Goat. So, it's bulky waterless, which is fine because he has a Blissey, but I don't like those teams. But, yeah, Rachi just got molested. But depending on the uh, T-Tar, it can still eat one EQ, but it can't really do that much back. Yeah, unless it's like, I don't know, HP Grass, but I doubt that even kills Dugtrio since it's not boosted. And it's coming from Titar's weaker special attack. But yeah, H and HP Grass DD is an unset anyway, but yeah. I've seen people run it. So yeah, I don't know. But yeah, we, we will see. We'll see if this uh, Titar slurps this hit up, because it depends on the spread. Because I think, um, if, I, th I think if you're bulkless, you die. I'm pretty sure about that. I know with, like, with investment, you eat this shit up for breakfast. But yeah, that's that eats it up for breakfast. So DD is up again, so now he can kill the Dark Show for sure. And this is actually looking in quite a nasty spot. So we hit him power bugs there, and the Dark Show goes. And this Claydol should eat, but it's going to take a fuckload. Since it's super effective. So I like that the name was DD's twice, and he actually DD's twice. That's kind of cool. But, yeah, Dark Show is gone, which is huge for Rachi. Because now Dark Show can't pick off a weakened uh, Blissey, or it can't pick off the Titar. So if he wishes the Titar back up, the Titar will be back in action. But he needs to pick the time when to wish Titar back up, because he can't do it on the Blissey. Because if he gets toxic, the DD sweep will be kind of ass, because you're just going to get chipped away. But yeah, it's nice that he got rid of Dark Show there, though. And that DD's twice, actually DD twice. And Oz couldn't even save his Dark Show there. Like, he didn't have a switch in. His play was always to sack Dark Show and just bring Clay all in. And force Rachi out. <laughs> we see Vileman in the chat saying, t is Nick ghosts Jirachi. Well, that is kind of true. Yeah, that's some, that's some expert ghost thing. <laughs> that friendly reminder to himself. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's kind of kind of cool, I guess. We see Asta pulling up with no nicknames. That means he will lose, confirmed. Because if you don't have the nicknames, you don't have the clout. And if you don't have the clout, you take this fat L. So, we see Claydol on Skarmory action. You know this is the boring... This is... Like, Claydol on Skarmory is possibly the most boring... Uh, like, apart from Blissey on Blissey action, Claydol on Skarmory action, uh, if Claydol has refresh, is the most boring shit ever. Because they just chill there. Spikes, rabbit spin, toxic, refresh. Earthquake does nothing. Psychic does nothing. Like, Rowan is not going to pull anything off. Like, this is the most boring shit, and they still still thinking about their turn. Well, um, that kind of depends on the Claydol set, but it's Refresh, Spin, Recover, EQ, so that's already confirmed a set. So, Salmon's should wall this. 
Right, unless I'm fucking up. So Salmon should wall this, so depending on the Salmon set, it might actually do something. But if it's special Salmon, so obviously it's not doing shit. So he switches in Zapdos as the spike comes out, so it's finally finally some new stuff. Jirachi finally got his hazard up, which hits one- t Oh, it actually hits three Pokemon, that's actually fine. T-Bolt gets thrown off, does clean zero to Blissey, because Blissey's nice and juicy. So eating that up for breakfast. As we're gonna see Ditar come out, so we finally mod with offensive presence coming out. But he can just wish out, and he can just wish up his. He can just wish into Pert, and he should just be good. Yeah, as a toxic Ditar, oh go! So rest in peace, Pert's recovery. This is like toxic on Pert is probably the like the, the biggest toxic. Never mind, it's refresh Pert. Okay, nice nice stall strategy, refresh Pert. That's disgusting. And he throws off another toxic as both toxics miss, but. Asa's toxic didn't really matter because he could just refresh the turn after. As another toxic is thrown off and misses. But I don't know why Asa's doing this because he's just letting his Atlas get poisoned for no apparent reason. He's just going to hit refresh anyway. And I think hard Blissey would have been the better play. I Yeah, I don't know why he let his uh, Zapdos get toxic. Maybe there's some like obvious purpose behind it and I just don't see it because I'm bad. But I don't know. Because I know it would have forced him into refreshing but that doesn't really matter that much. So again, Blissey and Blissey action, they just wish up, they can wish up nothing exactly because Rachi can't even wish up his T-Tar because uh, then T-Tar might get toxic. So he throws off a toxic. I don't know what he was really predicting there. I guess T-Tar, but I don't know why you would go hard T-Tar on a Blissey. So now he goes T-Tar. As the SS comes out, he actually lives on one and gets a T-Tar a bit more healthy. It's not that healthy, but it's a bit more healthy at least. Gets a round of leftovers as well. So, I don't know why he didn't Toxic on the Wish, but yeah, that's kind of interesting. But I guess he didn't want to waste his Toxic, but yeah, we just go we go into Blissey again. So, Rachi got the most out of that, out of his Blissey on Blissey Confrontation. He got his T-Tar a bit more healthy. I think Rachi is definitely in the prime spot to win, depending on what his last is. Because they both don't really need to break each other. They Like, they don't even break each other's teams. They just chill there all day. So, oh my lord, uh, this is some expert finals quality, yeah, okay, it goes into perp, soft world gets wasted there on only 20 HP, which is nice for Rachi. So Toxic gets thrown off, that's another refresh wasted, but yeah, the, these Toxics both don't do anything. That's kind of gross about both these teams, because they both have natural cure plus steel type plus refresh, so there's no way you're ever hitting a Toxic, unless you're Austin, you just sack your Zapdos to Toxic. And if he's rest, he needs to be rest teched, t bolts. That means he would be roarless, and I think roar would be nice on a team like that to just stop setup sweepers. So again, toxic ice beam. Yeah, I I I don't know what. Yeah, there's nothing. Like <laughs> you just see what's going on right on your screen. Like these mods are not doing anything to each other; they're just trying to outlive each other. Yeah, this is this is basically like stall versus stall on OU. There's, I mean, there's not really plays that they can make. I mean, there's plays that they can make, like wishing up the T-Tar was a nice play, but, um, and again, depending on Salmon said, it can put in some work. That's like the third time I've said that, but Salmon's could indeed put in some work. If you need, yeah, I don't know. So Blizzy's gonna get in. Oh, it gets goes hard clay at all. Ooh, on the T-Tar goes. But yeah, T-Tar gets another round of left season and can switch right back out. So actually, that wasn't too good of a play. So EQs, which is not going to do too much because he refreshes and then keeps getting lefties. It, yeah, he finally gets a spin off, predicting the refresh, which is, a, but that's a nice play. Finally getting the hazard off. But yeah, he goes back to Blissey, hits that easy soft boiled, and we are back. So, and even that rabbit spin doesn't do much because Raji can just get that right back up later. So it goes into TTR, get another round of lefties. I think Jirachi is really playing this well. Just like keep, he like keeps healing his TTR for a little bit of chip getting those lefties rounds and he keeps getting those and even if he even if he gets caught by s toss on one of them that's not the end of the world he only loses like 20 percent off that so he goes into the the, the, the mon jirachi is finally back in so oh the last one is magneton big magneton so thunder's not gonna do shit and this this big magneton t wave yup 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 I was gonna say, if it's some shit like T-Wave, which would be complete bullshit, he can beat the Rachi 101 by just para-haxing through. Which is indeed his plan. But let's see what the last move on this Jirachi is. Because I don't think it's a sh I don't think it's anything to touch this. Ooh, full para, easy money. Easy. Can we get another one for the boys? Easy money. 
Damn. It's just too easy for prime time Rachi. The best to ever do it. So Thunder doesn't do shit. And Magneton successfully trapped the Rachi. Ooh, Para. Ooh, Goat. So that's... I mean, it sucks, but it doesn't matter too much. Full Para? Ah, alas. Okay, that would have been some revenge if you got the full Para there. But, yeah. I mean, the Magneton is super dead, but... I was gonna say super low, but it's dead now. Um... But yeah, the Magneton is super dead, but so is the Rachi, and the Rachi was definitely a bit bigger player. So, um, on G Rachi's team, I like I like his team for sure. I think it, the team is like it's a, it's of course some refresh per plus plus like DD Tar Blissy's some nice Bliss Garm Core plus Magneton to trap steals potentially. But I like the team. I like that it's super nasty, and Asa's team is also nice and nasty. But yeah, I definitely like Raji's team better. I think it has some better synergy there. But the uh, the Manjirachi is super broken, so I guess I guess that's kind of cool. So we're definitely gonna hit that easy at 100 turns. So let's see let's see how long this takes. Okay, uh, it's only 10 more minutes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so it's only gonna be 10 more minutes, so uh, it's gonna be a solid 120 turns, which is nice. That's what I like, dude. Like, this is what I. This is what I watch ADV for. I don't watch it for the for the cool battles. No, I watch it for the mm, stall. So he stays in with his. I don't know how. I don't know why Oz is playing his Zapdos like this. Like I don't like how he's playing his Zapdos, but he doesn't really have other options because Oz is really in the back. But he kind of kind of molested his own Zapdos. I don't know. Like he let it get poisoned and then he let it take 60. These are just plays I don't really understand. So he goes into Pur again. Yeah, there is nothing I can say about this. Cause like, okay, freeze, okay, freeze, okay. <laughs> I mean, the perch that full and it keeps getting lefty, so it'll thaw eventually. Like now that it actually matters, so he goes hard teacher on a perch, and he catches the blissey. And Rachi's blissey is quite low, so this could actually do something. DD's up, okay. We we this this teacher is DD as well, which I already assumed. Which like it makes the most sense on a team like that. But, uh, I mean, it's not going to do too much to the Skarm in it. Like, the Skarm could just whirlwind it out. And just, like, stop it in its tracks fully. <sighs> That's pretty late for me at the moment. And I'm just spending all my time watching this easy ADV game. I mean, this ADV game is actually pretty fire. Like, nice stall and stall action. So, we see that Doc has bad nets and reconnects. Um, as we see some nice German text... And yeah, that's nice. We see a clay doll, and we see, okay, so we see the, that the clay doll came in on the scarm. So yeah, uh, I mean that was the, basically the only play. So you refresh up. Now Perk gets a chance to thaw out its first chance. Like this is just how it's gonna go. Psyche is not gonna do shit. Does a clean twenty. I mean, if he just hacks us through this, that might be a that might be a way to win. To be honest, like he just hacks through the Perk, uh, which does suck for Rachi. Okay, he finally thaws out. Nice. So finally thaws out, gets a protect off, and we're back in the business. Pert is just gonna keep getting lefties through the sand, and yep, freeze didn't matter. So it goes back into this, as we see Skarm on Claydol, and some rabbit spin on Spike action. So we see a rabbit spin coming off on the Claydol first, as the roar comes out. So he roars him into Zapdos, which is extremely low at the moment, and he keeps getting chipped by Toxic. So if he doesn't have, yeah, he doesn't have rest, okay. So he doesn't have rest, so the Zapdos is basically dead. So this is this is like three versus five. Which is an extremely hard match for Asa to win. And if he roars him into... Oh, as we see, uh, Doc hovering over it. Um, hovering over some PP. As we see that the Blissey from Asa has kind of bad PP. So this is really nice. I love you, Doc Rich. So we see that the Wish PP, I think that says 8. I can't really see, but I think that says 8. That's not that much. So I love you, Doc, that he's hovering over all the PP. Because that actually, that, that actually matters since this is a PP war. So 100 turn game. Solid, solid. It feels like I'm watching GSC, dude. So, like, there's no real, like, no no party has a chance to break through. If this was, like, toxic, uh, if this wasn't refresh, I mean, this Pert would have gotten whittled slowly, and Asa would have actually had a chance to break through, but this is refresh. They had, like, like, if it was toxic, he would have wasted a lot more wishes on Blissey keeping this shit healthy. But now that it's not toxic, yeah, I don't know. I, the, the problem that I see is um, the problem that I see with Asta and Asta's win con is that Asta can't really switch around. Raji can switch around between Pert, Blissey, and Skarm, and not really face much, uh, not really face problems, as he let his Seedar get poisoned. But yeah, that's like Raji can just switch around between those three and kind of peepy stall Asta. So he goes into Zabdos sacking that boy off. As it in power comes out, as the Titar takes a bit of chip, now a Kleda comes out. So that was nice. That was a nice uh, 
Nice chance to sack off the Zapdos right there. But yeah, it's three versus five, and it basically was that all uh, all the time since Zapdos was extremely low. So yeah, I, I don't think Ozzy can win this. I think he can try to like outlast Rachi, but I don't see how he would break through because DDT Star is never breaking through because there's a Pert and a Skarm. Um, Blissey on Bl yeah, Rachi can just PP stall all of Asta's Mons. I think this I think this should just should just be it. And I don't see how Asta can win, to be honest, because the Clay Doll is also just walled by both Blissey. If Clay Doll is just walled by his entire team, basically. So, yeah, we see that, that those PP are still fine, but this is just going to die to poison eventually. Wait. Refresh, Rabbit Spin. Wait, the Clay Doll is recoverless? I just realized that. I just realized that I saw Psychic on the Clay Doll and it's recoverless on a team like that? Ooh, I do not like that at all. I mean, I know that lefties in sand gives, still gives you a lefties recovery, and lefties is super important and everything, but I don't like recoverless. Because if you're recoverless, you can't really use it as a as a wall, or like as a pivot, I guess. I should say it like that. You can't really use it as a pivot. So I can't even switch between Blissey and Claydol, because Claydol would just get chipped, because it's recoverless. Yeah, I don't I don't see how Aust is winning this at all. Like, legit, I do not think he has a win con. As he's taking out a long time, but uh, isn't Claydol his only play here? I think Claydol might be his only play, or like Titar and then Claydol to outplay a bit, but it's not that good of a play because then if you just HP bugs, you're fucked and you lose. But I think Asta already loses. There's actually nothing he can really do. Um, yeah, sorry, I was just checking some, some preems, Doc just PM'd me, so I'm sorry that I went silent a bit. So, uh, time to pull up uh, the Pokemon joke, so I'm just gonna drag this to a, sorry for the white. So, um, I'm just gonna look this up real quick. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is a good one. Why should you not take a Pokemon in the bathroom? Okay, so you're in the bathroom, why should you not take a Pokemon with you? Because it might, because it might Pikachu. That's a powerful joke. So, yeah, that's a powerful joke because it might peek at you, but it's also peeked. Bro, this is a powerful joke right there. Um, so the teacher takes like 10 million bazillion. As the other teacher doesn't even take that much. Does it even die from poison? I don't think it does. Yeah, it doesn't even die from poison. So if it just it hits HB bug here, it just gets a kill. I mean, yeah, Blissey doesn't die. And Blissey can recover on enough. So Rachi finally goes down. Um, also, today was April Fools, so I got to tell a whole bunch of bad jokes, and uh, in then the server that I'm in with Dockridge, we went like wild trolling every <laughs> trolling everyone. Um, so we see Salamence on Blissey action. It's also Easter today, by the way, um, so happy Easter. I hope you got a nice Easter egg hunt and got that nice chocolate. Mmm, slip that shit up. So we see Salamence in. So Salamence, I think it's a kill, depending on the set. And like that he brought in on Blissey, that means he can kill Blissey. Um, cause why would you otherwise, why would you bring it in? So, and Claydol, hmm, depends. Cause Claydol might eat a few hits, but Claydol is recoverless, so that boy is gonna- Oh, it gets crit! Disappeared from the battlefield. Yeah, it's over, okay. Yeah. So, the fact that he got crit there, yeah, it doesn't really matter, it's recoverless, and it's not gonna win anyway. So, GG to Rachi. So, now we can talk about, um, what is actually actual in SPL right now. So, for everyone who doesn't know, um, yeah, I'm just gonna ignore this. We have a tie break right here. So, um, this is Murderly versus Kaori. Kaori won, so it's six. Oh, I'm sorry. It's six versus six right now, which means that we get a tie break in finals. And I'm super hyped about this. I don't know the tiers yet. Um, I don't think those are announced yet, but it's super nice and it's super fire because we got a tie break in both semifinals as well. So, I hope we're going for ADV because Asta versus Jirachi, they have some fire matches. But I don't know if we will be going to uh, ADV as. Okay, never mind. I, I thought this was like the, the bar from my uh, recording software, but it's actually just a pause bar for the video that I'm watching right now. So, like, I don't know why they're still playing. Asta doesn't have a win con, but I guess it's just the pride of the tour player that they don't forfeit. They let all of their Pokemon die. Um, well, I get that, I guess. I wouldn't do it. I would, I would just save myself the time, just do something else, just do my homework. But that's because I'm a little baby kid, so. So, they both said GG, so it's officially over. And, yeah, Doc is probably just going to show the standings of... Um, of SPL from when this was recorded, but it's 6 6 right now. Nice tie break. So, my dream tie break would be like 
ABR versus TDK Revenge, then, um, like, Asa versus Jirachi, and the other one I don't even care about. Maybe, maybe, like, Kanto versus Ricardo. Well, yeah, I mean, Ricardo kind of misplayed because he had a lot of pressure on him, and he plays bad under pressure. But that would be kind of cool. Maybe DVP. DVP is kind of nice. Void versus Roscoe. That was a pretty fire match. You can watch that on Pokemon Go channel. So, yeah, it was 5-2. So, as you can see here, the Raiders really came back. Because um, I'm just going to pause it right here. I mean, I can't, I don't really have to pause it, but it's at, like, what, one minute from stopping. So, we see Metal Gross uh, 1. Only Metal Gross and Ganja 1. So, ABR versus TDK was actually a fire match. And uh, Doc hasn't uploaded it yet, and I don't think he will. He needs to get my boy Ultra Balls out of the basement and into working. But that match was actually pure fire. So, um, yeah. Kanzo versus Ricardo was kind of fire as well. Although Ricardo kind of played bad around the Manga Zone. That was in that game. But yeah, enough talking about the, all these other games. You can watch all of those on, like, Pokemon uh, MD YouTube. I'm sorry, Doc. I'm stealing your reviews, but you aren't uploading anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out my channel in the description. Leave a juicy like, and, uh... <laughs>